guys, it's Renee. Welcome to my channel. For today's DIY, we're going to be making something featuring polka dots. For the first project, we're going to be recycling or working on a mouse pad. I'm working with this Hello Kitty mouse pad that I used to love, but now it's time to update it. And for that, I'm going to be working with some acrylic paint and I'm using black acrylic paint. And I'm just going to cover my whole mouse pad. That means that I'm going to be covering Hello Kitty's face with black paint. It's pretty much up to you if you want to work with an old mouse pad that you have or you just want to buy a new black plain one and just work your design on top of it. This is a sad moment for me because I've had this mouse pad for two years maybe or maybe even more but again uh, it was time for me to just do something with it so goodbye healthy face you've been so nice to me. Then I'm going to be taking a black piece of fabric and you can work with any material that you like is good. I'm just going to be turning my mouse pad upside down and I'm just going to mark with this uh, fabric marker where my mouse pad is going to be. And then I'm just going to simply going to cut it and yeah, I'm just going to follow the line that I drew. Then I'm just going to grab my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue it to the top part of my mouse pad. Now as you can see there is a polka dot pattern design. I was doing something else with it before but I ended up not liking it so that's why I just decided to cover it with some black fabric. And the reason why I would suggest you to paint your mouse pad if it's not black to begin with is to prevent any image that may be already in your mouse pad to just transfer through the fabric so you can see it at the end. So everything is just black and solid. Then I'm just going to be taking my big dotting tool which in this case is my art club um, color club and I'm just going to go and go to use my white acrylic paint and just paint the top of it and just kind of like stamp it on my mouse pad or my fabric rather. If you don't have one of this just look around your house maybe you can find um, something that is uh, round and is this big so you can use as a dotting tool. So that's kind of like the base of my dots. I'm just going to go with my brush and I'm just going to paint on top of it because I want my you know my pocket dots to be as white as I can get them to be. And this is uh, how I cover the whole dots. And this is pretty much it for the first idea. I think it has something really cute to my working area, my desk. I mean, I love Hello Kitty, but it was time for me to update it and I love the final result. Let me know down below if you like it as well. Now I'm just going to be moving on to my second project, which is going to be a floral base. Now I've been really into kind of like working with empty bottles of wine and doing something else with them. So my bottle of wine happens to have this part and so I'm just going to remove it with my pliers. Then I'm just going to be removing the lid with some water and soap. I'm just going to be painting it. In this case, I'm just going to be working with my same acrylic paint, but I'm just going to give it a few coats of my black. Then I'm just going to be using some round sticky tacks, and these are just blank ones. And I'm just going to be using my mouth patch as well and a brush. Now I'm just going to remove one of those uh, tacks and on the back part, I'm using a toothpick to just help myself. I'm just going to add a layer of my Mod Podge. That is because I want to glue my tags onto my bottle. Because of the shape of my bottle, which is round, it's going to help my tags to really adhere into my bottle. Place them and then, and then try to push your tags so they stay in there. Once that's done, as you can see, I painted the top part of my bottle with some yellow acrylic paint. And then I'm just going to be going over my bronze paint and the reason I used the yellow first is because I feel like it pops a lot more my bronze if it's over a yellow base. Once I'm done and everything is dry, I'm just going to secure or just add my finishing touches, which is my gloss finish. I bought this at Home Depot. I get a lot of questions because this is the gloss I use for my cell phone cases as well. So this is pretty much all I use, you know, because I use acrylic paint and the acrylic paint tends to dry matte. So this is going to make the whole thing look better once you use this kind of glosses. I'm going to be using fake flowers because I tend to work best with them. Again, you can pour some water inside and then just work with fresh flowers. It's pretty much up to you and your personal taste. To me, it's fine to just work with flake flowers. I just find them easier to just handle. And then for my final project, this is a really random project. I'm just going to be using a plastic trash can. And as you can see, it's 
one of those pretty standard i just kind of like uh, separated those pieces and then i'm just going to paint the whole trash can with my acrylic black paint to begin with i wasn't sure if i wanted to include this project on this video because it's a trash can i mean some people might find it gross but i mean who doesn't use a trash can right so it's a good way to display your daily items i guess and because this is going to be somewhat of a you know heavy duty item because you're going to be opening and closing and i would highly suggest you to work with a somewhat good quality acrylic paint and it's pretty much to you if you want to use a spray paint that's another option once i've done that i'm just going to do the same thing that i did with my floral base but in this case i didn't add my mouth patch then i'm just going to add trash can with my sharpie some letters so i know this is my trash can even though this is what it is but i thought it was going to be cuter to just add the letters and i'm just you know using my same bronze acrylic paint and my brush now my trash can is going to have like two faces as a very final step, I'm adding a bronze detailing to my edges. I'm going to go all the way around to the top and then at the bottom. Even though the bottom part is going to be covered by a plastic bag, just in case something shows, it's going to be nice and bronze. I kind of like it a lot. It kind of like blurs itself into the room and it's not as obvious as it was before. I love polka dots. I cannot get enough of them. And I just want to share those ideas just in case you are as a polka dot freak as I am even though they are totally for different purposes but let me know which one is your fave if you try any of these projects don't forget to tag me on instagram or twitter using the hashtag to simple stuff give this video a thumbs up if you liked it to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to share it thank you so much for your time watching i'll take you later bye guys